So, so basically my summary is our state has failed our children. Our state agency, DFPS and CPS, is one of the most corrupt in the nation. It's known simply Google Judge Janice Jack Corpus Christi and read the articles over and you will be freaking astounded by what our state has done and continues to do to this day. Two, our family courts, they monetize breaking children. They monetize removing a parent. They monetize, because if I don't have conflict as an attorney, I don't run my bill up. If we show up and we come to agreement, we're done, I only made five to 7,000 bucks. But most high conflict cases run into the hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. And then they turn around and they say, the deadbeats just don't want to pay the child support. That's all they're looking for. Jeff Younger is not a deadbeat dad. $1.3 million to fight for his kid not to be gender transitioned. And they call him a deadbeat too because he just doesn't want to pay child support. He could pay child support for the rest of his children's lives and it would never be anywhere close to $1.3 million. And so the arguments against this, they're all fallacious. None of them hold up when you really look at them. What we're doing is we're destroying children and we have agencies that are making money off of it. And that is just the long and short of it. And if we don't stop it, we will be blue soon. And, you know, as a Christian, I'm just freaking appalled. I mean, I'm just literally appalled, yes, sir. Um, so the dingling judge out of Dallas, is that Judge Mary Brown, the one that presided yeah. over the Jeff Younger case? Yeah. So if... We want to get this person out. Does the Texas State Legislature need to bring up articles of impeachment yep. to get rid of this person? Haven't been done since the 60s, but you can ask them. <laughs> oh, what would that take? Is that like a major majority in the House or the Senate? Of yeah, the, yeah. There's a, there's a process, and you have to get everybody on board. And it has to be brought forward, and you have to have a, a, a certain percentage, and it has to go to the Supreme Court to be verified, and all this other kind of stuff. And, and it just they just don't, simply don't do it. And I believe she's retiring, isn't she? No, she didn't sign up on the ballot or something like that. I think that her seat is now being contested. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm told that if I don't stop, they'll never invite me back to another event. But then again, find somebody else who's going to drive their butt to Beaumont. So, besides you. So, I'm just kind of saying, you know, know your value. Know your value. All right, and I'll be around if anybody wants to ask me questions or anything else. But I, you know, if you really think that some of this stuff is jacked up, use that QR code. Just do it. Just send the emails because at some point I'm going to be talking to your legislator and it is super helpful if I walk in that office and give them my spiel and they say, you know what, I got 40 emails on this a couple months ago. Because 40 emails to them is thousands and thousands of voters who might be concerned and they worry about their job more than they worry about some of this other stuff. And I wouldn't mic drop, but I don't want to break something. <laughs>